So welcome and welcome back. I wanted to do a bonus reading for all of you guys who got the most views on the last round of Zodiac sign readings. And Virgo, you were one of those groups. Okay, so thank you. I, I'm hearing, are you sure? So you could be asking somebody, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you positive without a shadow of a doubt? Like, if they say they're sure one time, you need to let it go, okay? You may be being asked as well, are you sure? And I feel like you're sure in a situation. Somebody is only asking you if you're sure because they're not sure, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you, Virgo. But thank you so much for being here. As always, be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch this vibe. If y'all want to book a reading, the link is below. Thank you so much to everyone who's booked. I really appreciate it, you guys. Also, um, the calendar, I mean, the calendar should be open to let you just book. Yeah, if you want to book, it's below. The link is below. Any other information that you need to know is always in the description box, you guys. But I feel like you need to be sure in a situation. You need to make sure that you're sure. And then once you're sure, even if somebody keeps asking you, are you sure, stick to whatever you said. Stick to what you said. Like, don't go back on, don't go back on your word. Don't go back on your promise. Whatever it is, just stick to whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. Because I feel like someone could be trying to confuse you by asking you if you're sure. Uh, or making you feel unsure about a situation because they're unsure, okay? And you may be asking someone if they're sure, but I feel like if somebody has shown you who they are, take it, take them for whatever that is, all right? But let's see, guardian angels, archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors of the highest vibration, Father, Mother, God, for Virgo, what is it that they need to know regarding whatever they're dealing with at this very moment, at this time? Yeah, unlimited ideas. Interesting. It says your mind is one with God's infinite mind, source, whoever you believe in. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. Yeah. So, yeah, follow what you feel like you're meant to do. You're never going to have a lack. Like, there's never going to be any lack. That's what I'm getting from this card. Like, so even if you're asking someone, like, are you sure? There's no, if someone is leaving your life, you're not going to miss anything, okay? Because I feel like there's an abundance around you that cannot be, like, matched or compared. Like, you don't need someone to be in your life or you don't need someone to be around you for you to be great. I feel like that comes from within you. You don't need someone around you to create some, some type of reality. It's like you have the ideas unlimited within you to be able to create this reality. You may know this, and that's why you could be asking, like, are you sure? you? Because you don't want to lose me. Okay, sometimes you got to let motherfuckers find out the hard way. I'm just saying, okay? Pay yourself first. Yep, make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you have the savings to invest in your present and your future, okay? So, yeah, this need, it's like don't worry about other people first. I feel like this is about you needing to prioritize yourself or put yourself first in a situation because if somebody loses you, they're just going to lose you. And I feel like there's a part of you that may feel like you may need someone or that there may be a time in the future where you're going to need something from this person. I don't know if it's you trying not to burn a bridge with someone or you trying to warn someone not to burn a bridge with you, but it's kind of like you got to just let it be what it is. Clean energy food. It says when you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. Yeah. So I feel like in the near future, you're going to be eating healthier and these ideas are going to come to you a lot more clearly. Whatever this is that you're going through, I feel like there's a need for you to prioritize what's best for you first. OK, it's, it's like, yeah, it's good to look out for other people. But when you become drained and you become exhausted and you really don't have anything left for yourself, is it really helping those other people or is, are you really able to do the work that you feel like you came here to do? Not really. Yeah, the five of coins. There's this lack mentality that I feel like you guys could be feeling or having in a situation you're never really alone. Like, even if you feel like you're alone, you're never really alone. It's like there's an abundance that comes from you that I feel like you have to realize. Yeah, the lovers. 
Some of you may have been broken up by somebody. Yeah, the three of swords. This could be heartbreak. This is pain that you're going through. This could even be pain that you feel someone else going through empathically. You could sense that someone is going through something and you may be trying to help them, but it may not be necessary at this time for you to help them. It may be that you need to, and I, and you know, you probably gonna get mad at me. Okay. Cause y'all, you know how y'all are. Okay. D don't chew me out. Cause your spirit team is trying to help you. This is a situation where you need to mind your own goddamn business. Cause it's like, you're kind of like wanting somebody to see how much value you have. And you're wanting somebody to understand how much you can help in a situation. But it's like, if somebody doesn't want your help, you can't force them to take your help. Because that's only going to deplete you at the end of the day. I don't know how this works. You could take it however you want to take it. Take it how it resonates. But I do feel that there could be something that has hurt your heart very deeply. Someone may have hurt you very deeply because they didn't value you or appreciate you in a situation. And it's like maybe you have to understand that this person has to see that on their own time. And now it's time to pour into you. I don't think this is a bad message at all because what it looks like is that you guys are about to see how much value you bring to a situation because now that somebody has gone from your life, you're about to see how much more energy you have. The days are going to start going by slower, which I, I feel like mm, I thought about this earlier today. It's like when the days start going by slower, when time seems to pass by slower and you have more space and opportunity to do what it is that you need to do, it allows you to be more productive. It allows you to get more done. It allows you to see more clearly. It allows you to feel more accomplished. And I feel like that's what's going to end up happening. It's going to, you're going to start to see how abundant it is that you are. If there's been somebody who's been depleting you financially and always asking for your help, it's like, this feels like somebody who you've been intimate with, sexual with, this feels like it's like a romantic love interest or somebody who's hurt your heart, broken your heart. And you feel like you did so much to help this person. And it's like, okay, this is spirit's way of not punishing you, but this is spirit's way of telling you, like, sometimes you need to stop helping motherfuckers and mind your own damn business. And it's not to be mean to you. It's, to un it's for you to understand that you are the one in which source has endowed the abundance. And therefore, you don't have to give that away constantly. It's like, maybe this is a point to show you who you need to be helping and who you don't need to be helping. Okay, what else? For Virgo, damn, I didn't mean to chew y'all out like that. I'm sorry. Um, the aunt, the I was about to say entrepreneur. So you could, some of y'all could be business owners, but it says the entertainer. You're entering a period of happiness. Positive and sociable times are afoot. Expect things to go well at this time, right? Because somebody who was leeching off of you or somebody who was trying to make you handle things on your own, somebody who knew you needed help, but they refused to help you or I don't know what this is, but it just feels like you were depleting your energy for a person who didn't really appreciate you anyway. You were, you were feeling like, mm, you were trying to help someone, but they didn't want your help or you were trying to like give to somebody who really didn't want to do anything for themselves. It's like kind of somebody with their hand out all the time, asking for handouts, somebody who always wanted you to just be there to pick up the slack for them. And they never wanted to take initiative because you're getting that person out of your life or because that energy is being cycled out of your life. You're going to see how much more money you have, how much more time you have, how much more energy you have. Like something that was draining you is no longer going to be draining you. Yeah. The villain, someone is working against you to disrupt your success. Be vigilant and protect yourself against the evil eye, right? Somebody just did not want you to have a good time. Somebody just did not want you to have fun. Every time you were having a good time, every time you were having fun, it's like somebody was looking at you out the corner of their eye like mad because you were in this positive energy. They wanted to work against you when it comes to being abundant. Yeah, and the tactician with some good planning tactics, you can easily work out and make corrections for success. Yeah. So whatever it is that you felt like you lost, it will be replenished to you in the near future. <clears throat> but, but it's like you can't give away your blessings to other people and then expect to continue to be blessed. It's like if you've been feeling um, that things have not been going well or if you've been feeling like you're kind of in a rut right now or you really don't have a lot to celebrate, I feel like it was because you were choosing to help people that didn't mean you well. And spirit will cut off your blessings for that because they don't want you to continue to give away all the good things that they've intended for you to other people who don't fucking deserve it. And that's the only reason why I'm being real harsh with y'all is because I feel like there's a lot that you deserve. And I feel like there's a lot that you don't get to see because you give it away too fast to these motherfuckers who trying to use you all the goddamn time. Okay. 
What else for Virgo? Cutting cords in time. You didn't want to cut these cords, but you need to. You are allowing yourself to be distracted. It says diverting from goals, interference, deterring, hindrance. Right. That's the villain card. Okay. You didn't want to cut these cords and ties, but it's like you need to. You had to because somebody was draining you and depleting you of your energy. Fake friend. Damn. Envious, gossiping, shady, ill wishes, negative energy, malicious intent, covetous. Yeah. Yeah. This is a person who either kept trying to bring distractions into your life or they themselves were a distraction that needs to be removed because they were blocking your blessings. And it's time to give your energy to yourself first. Like you can't help everybody. You can't be everybody's captain save a hoe, Virgo. You can't be everybody's savior. Sometimes people got to save themselves. I just heard don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Okay. Somebody don't want to be saved. They know that every single time that they need saving, you're going to come in and save their ass. So they don't ever really want to be saved because they, it's like they don't ever really want to do better because they know that you're always going to be there to pick up the slack. Yep. This is something about your shadow self. This is something about like uh, karma that you have to reconcile possibly from past lives or whatever. This also is shadow work that I feel like you need to do when it comes to like moving forward. This is always what's been meant to happen. It's really hard to finally put an end to this or or like focus on it because you it's like you keep trying to distract yourself with things that aren't real so that you can prevent yourself from having to face this about yourself. But I feel like now there's nothing else left to distract you. It's like you're kind of on your own in the situation because your spirit team wants you to see the power that you have. They want you to see how much power that you have to do what it is that you need to do and accomplish goals that you need to accomplish. And they want you to finally release whatever darkness that this is associated with okay what's been holding you back they're gonna help you work through this okay one more what's the advice thank you don't take the bait right two elevens nine plus two is eleven and then you have the eleven card don't take the bait so eleven eleven could be significant something about november could be significant as well uh Hold on, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 2027, November 11th, 2027. That's 11, 11, 11. So you might want to mark that on your calendar, November 11th, 2027. That's some type of significance about this. Mm-hmm. And then you have 10, love surrounds you. Yeah, somebody's trying to make you feel like they love you in order for you to help save them from situations that they need to save themselves from because they know you're always going to do it. Yeah, the magic within you. This is all about like what you have within you and the fact that you need to realize how valuable that is and how people will try to come against you to use it in a negative way when in reality, they don't really want anything good for you. They just want to use your light and your brightness for themselves. So I hope that helped y'all. Okay, be sure to like and subscribe so you can continue to catch this vibe. And I will see y'all next time, Virgo. Thank you so much for your support. Love you. Hope you get through it. Bye.